Farming might seem simple enough. You dig, you plant, you harvest, and take care of everything else in between. But what if your work gets disturbed by an unusual discovery? From gold and bronze treasures to unusual animal features, here are 20 shocking things farmers discovered in their fields. Two for one cow. They say that two heads are better than one. But a Florida dairy farmer received quite a surprise when one of his cows welcomed an incredibly unique addition to the family, a two-headed calf. Meet Annabelle, the adorable calf with an extraordinary twist. Dwight Cruz has had years of experience raising cattle, but never seen anything like this before. Cruz couldn't contain his disbelief, exclaiming, a two-headed calf? I can hardly believe my eyes. I've heard tales, but this is my first real-life encounter. Annabelle, the calf with double vision, boasts two sets of eyes, but it seems that the two middle eyes might be a bit camera shy. Since Annabelle finds it challenging to lift her hefty head, she's currently enjoying bottle feeding sessions with her loving mom always close by. Cruz happily reported, Mama Cow comes in to check on her, gives her a good sniff, and makes sure she's doing all right. The remarkable news of Annabelle's arrival has even caught the attention of Ripley's Believe It or Not. According to their records, the longest a two-headed calf has ever lived is about 40 days. Annabelle might just defy the odds and become a true legend in her own right. She's captivating hearts and inspiring a sense of wonder in everyone who meets her. The Cruz family is showering her with care and affection, hoping that this extraordinary little calf thrives and continues to bring joy to all who cross her path. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. For today's missing topic, we're looking at something from out of this world. In this enigmatic photograph, a farmer discovered something weird outside his farm fields, and we're not quite sure what it is. The empty farmland is covered by a thick blanket of fog, and from the look of things, the once vibrant fields are appearing pretty barren. In the center is a huge, destroyed piece of equipment that resembles a colossal satellite. Or maybe it's a crashed space station. The massive structure's intricate network of antennas and metal seem to indicate that whatever it used to be was probably important. The purpose of this immense apparatus remains a riddle, leaving us wondering what it really is and what happened to make it crash down. So, we want to hear your theories. Let us know what you think it is and what it's doing over in an empty farm field by leaving a comment down below with the hashtag missing topic. Meteor in the cornfield. A lucky farmer in southern Minnesota recently made a remarkable discovery in his cornfield that has got people talking. His name is Bruce, and what he never expected to find in his cornfields is exactly what we're here to talk about. A 15 kilogram or 33 pound rusty slab poking out of his soil. Not knowing exactly what it was, Bruce had suspicions of it being a meteorite, and so he reached out to Dr. Calvin Alexander, a meteorite expert from the University of Minnesota. Dr. Alexander was more than happy to visit the farm and confirm the rock's unusual shape. He even took out a small sample and analyzed it using an electron microprobe. This marvelous invention bombards substances with electron beams, unveiling their chemical makeup. So what exactly came from the results? The crumbs contained a whopping 8% nickel, a rare element in earth rocks but a common presence in meteorites, often serving as a telltale sign. The rock also displayed the distinctive Whitman statin pattern found in iron meteorites, leaving even less room for doubts. Interestingly though, the rock's flat shape suggested that it was formed from a melted surface rock during an asteroid collision. Bruce and his wife Nelva discovered a connection to another meteorite found nearby, known as Arlington. Dr. Alexander believes the two rocks are likely the same and hopes to add it to the university's collection. For now, Bruce and Nelva are deciding what to do with their extraordinary space rock, knowing they've cradled a piece of the solar system's history thanks to their cosmic cornfield connections. Human-looking piglet In a twist that had everyone doing a double take, a piglet was born with a human-like face. Talk about hogging the spotlight. This unique little porker made its grand entrance among a group of regular pig pals, but it sure was startling to any outsider. While the exact reason behind its unusual appearance remains a mystery, 
these peculiar piggy phenomena are not unheard of in South American countries. There could be quite a few reasons as to why, but so far the only connection seems to be linked to pesticide use. Photos of the adorable if slightly eerie piglet surfaced online, showing a Venezuelan farmer cradling the mutant newborn. It's just a few hours old and believe it or not, it even has hair. The incident didn't go unnoticed on Twitter either, with one user suggesting authorities should investigate this genetic twist. Another quipped, food in Venezuela is so bad that even the animals are having vitamin deficiencies. Sadly, situations like these are out of the hands of innocent animals who can't speak up for themselves. Despite the mixed reactions from online spectators, it's important to note that appearances aren't everything, and this piglet is fighting just to stay alive. Breathing difficulties caused by its facial deformities may pose challenges, but for now, the little piglet continues to defy the odds and hog our attention. A Timeless Treasure In a story that seems straight out of a real-life treasure hunt, a realtor in Telangana hit the jackpot while digging a piece of land. It was a real-life X marks the spot moment. As the realtor worked to level an expansive plot near the national highway, fate intervened and led him to a hidden copper pot. But when the earth mover accidentally broke the pot, it revealed a dazzling collection of antique ornaments. It was like stumbling upon a time capsule. The trove consisted of silver ornaments weighing around 2 kilograms and gold pieces weighing close to 200 kilograms. Word of the incredible discovery spread fast, and the villagers wasted no time in embracing their traditions. Gathering together, they performed rituals, cracking coconuts, burning incense sticks, and adorning the site with flowers. According to local beliefs, the unearthed treasure trove was once meant for the temple goddess, adding a touch of mythical allure to the story. Sadly for the landowner, he won't be able to hold on to the priceless ornaments. The plot will be further excavated to explore if there are more hidden treasures waiting to be unearthed. Under the Indian Treasure Trove Act of 1878, the district additional collector Baskar has taken custody of the precious artifacts, which will find a new home in the Warangal Urban District Treasury. But the story doesn't end there. Archaeology experts are eagerly awaiting the chance to examine these remarkable artifacts and the site itself. Through their analysis, they hope to unravel the mysteries surrounding the ornaments and assign them a rightful place in history. Sort of like stepping into an adventure straight out of a historical novel, Roman coins. In an unrelated stroke of luck fit for a treasure hunter, a group of metal detector enthusiasts stumbled upon a cache of gold coins in the United Kingdom. Coin experts have traced these dazzling finds back to the Roman Empire, adding a touch of ancient majesty to the discovery. Damon and Denise Pai, the dynamic duo of metal detecting, first struck gold in 2017 on a remote Norfolk farmland. As farmers plowed the soil after the harvest season, the pies seized the opportunity to explore the freshly turned land. Their remarkable finds quickly earned the nickname the Broads Hoard from local coin collectors, paying homage to the nearby picturesque network of rivers and lakes known as the Broads. The coins have been scattered across the churned soil and slowly revealing themselves year after year since. Adrian Marsden, an expert of ancient Roman coins, has been following the Pi's treasure hunt. He believes there are more glimmering surprises yet to be unearthed. These exceptional gold coins, dating back to the first century of either BC or AD, predate the Roman conquest of Britain, raising a few questions about their origins. While the exact story behind the buried bounty remains a mystery, Marsden speculates on a few possibilities. Perhaps the coins were offerings to the gods or hidden with the intention of retrieval. The truth still hasn't been uncovered, but maybe it will be once all of the coins have been gathered. No good oil When Steve Jensen witnessed crude oil bubbling up from the ground on his North Dakota farm, his first thought wasn't how lucky or rich he'd be but instead suspected that the oil was leaking from the pipeline running beneath his 1,800-acre wheat farm, transporting oil from the back in formation to a rail facility nearby. Instead of a windfall, Jensen, aged 56, found himself grappling with the aftermath of the largest oil spill in U.S. history. In total, the leak released 20,600 barrels of crude oil, 
equivalent to the capacity of three Olympic-sized swimming pools, with most of it seeping below the surface. To Soro Logistics, the San Antonio-based company that owns the pipeline announced plans to repair and replace a 200-foot section of the pipeline following the spill. But Jensen's primary concern is being fairly compensated for the damage to his land. The unfortunate farmer anticipates being unable to farm the affected area for the next few years, while estimating a cleanup process of at least two to three years. Although officials claim that no water sources were contaminated and no wildlife harmed, skeptics doubt these assertions. Jensen acknowledged that the affected area does not harbor much wildlife, but stressed that the spill's impact is detrimental to all living organisms in the ground. Additionally, he mentioned that any grain within a half-mile radius of the spill would not be suitable for consumption. The North Dakota Health Department revealed that while companies are obligated to report spills to the state, the state is not obligated to disclose that information to the public. As negotiations between Jensen and the company have yet to begin, the long road to recovery awaits him and his farm with uncertainties surrounding the environmental impact, wild crocodile. In a strange new twist, it seems that crocodiles are apparently trading their river homes for the lush green fields of agricultural farms. One of these radical reptiles recently made a surprise appearance in the agricultural haven of Nuremsa Reddy from Mansapali, nestled in the Andoli Mandel. Ever heard of it? Well, picture this. The farmers are toiling away, engrossed in their daily tasks, when suddenly a crocodile waltzes into their field. Talk about unexpected guests. The farmer couldn't believe their eyes and promptly alerted the ever-vigilant forest officials. With a sense of urgency, the forest rangers swooped in to handle this extraordinary and unusual situation. Armed with their expertise and a dash of bravery, they managed to apprehend the uninvited guest and remove it from the premises. The daring crocodile was promptly whisked away to the luxurious Manjira Sanctuary, a new and temporary spot fit for reptilian rascals. Now, one might wonder, why would these crocs leave their cozy river spaces behind? Well, it seems that river, their natural habitat, has been experiencing an unfortunate dry spell. In their quest for greener pastures, these adventurous crocodiles have taken to exploring the world beyond the water's edge. Although it may have caused a flutter among the farmers, this crocodile cameo serves a solid point of letting us know not to take our daily routines for granted. Who knows when another dangerous animal might have to move out and invade our homes instead? The Magnificent Monster Goat Prepare to be amazed and amused by the latest viral sensation sweeping Egypt. A video posted on a Facebook group dedicated to buying and selling goats has gotten some people talking. Behold, the infamous goat monster. But in reality, this peculiar creature is none other than a magnificent Damascus goat, hailing from the lands of Syria, Cyprus, and Lebanon. Now, let's set the record straight. Some newspapers have mislabeled this big guy as a mutated creature, unaware that his unique features are simply part of his breed's charm. Sure, from a distance, his mouth may appear comically large, as if he's belting out a wild goat anthem, but it's purely natural. Well, sort of. Goat contests are all the rage in this region, just like horse and camel shows. Back in 2008, a Damascus goat named Or stole hearts and won the coveted title of Most Beautiful Goat at the Mazian Al Maz competition in Saudi Arabia. Eventually, everyone wanted one and more of them began to show up. And while they might be an acquired taste to a catered audience, each breed brings its own charm and quirkiness. It's a wild and woolly world out there, full of unexpected goat tails. Long Lost Helmet Get ready for a blast from the past that will leave you in awe. The legendary Crosby Garrett Helmet is stepping into the spotlight for all to admire. It's a dazzling Roman Parade Calvary helmet that was picked up by a metal detector enthusiast in a field in Cumbria back in May 2010. The Crosby Garrett helmet was named after the local village nearby, and it lives up to the title. This captivating piece of history will grace the halls of the Royal Academy in London, where it will mingle with an extraordinary collection of bronze works spanning an incredible 5,000 years. When news broke of the discovery, 
a determined Carlisle Museum took measures to keep the helmet within the UK's borders. In a twist of fate, the helmet was snatched up by a mysterious bidder in October 2010, who shelled out a whopping 2,281,250 euros. That's just over $2.8 million in American money. From where the helmet slipped into obscurity, hidden away from prying eyes, until now. The time has come for this enchanting helmet to reclaim its glory. With its haunting expression, adorned with cascading curls and a fierce face mask, the Crosby Garrett helmet is one of only three of its kind ever found. It hails from a bygone era, nearly 2,000 years ago, and will now rub shoulders with the best bronzes from Asia, Africa, and Europe in the grand exhibition aptly named Bronze, the Alberta Grave. In sunny Viking Alberta, Brian Rosmahel's organic hemp crop faced a constant drought and gophers feasting. Fortunately, Brian was used to this hard day and day out lifestyle, at least until something unexpected suddenly turned up. While checking snares, he discovered a human skull protruding from a badger hole in his field. After reporting it to the proper authorities, his field transformed into a crime scene almost immediately. With yellow police tape and a 24-hour guard, Alberta government archaeologists excavated the site, revealing a young girl's skeleton, thousands of beads, jewelry, buttons, and a thimble. The artifact suggested a connection to European settlements and trading routes, and fortunately not a modern-day murder mystery. The girl, buried away from known sites, may have even held a significant status. Her remains and the artifacts were carefully placed in a pine casket, with each item returned to its original position. Brian's daily visits to the site had unearthed beads, rings, and buttons, which he collected over time without thinking much of it. Indigenous elders held a ceremony at the gravesite, adding to the mystery and reverence surrounding the discovery. In one poignant ceremony, the casket arrived at Brian's farm, where Mounties, drummers, and his family paid their respects. They covered the grave by hand, feeling a profound connection to the moment. Brian now reflects on the eternal cycle of life, imagining the girl's journey to trade with early European settlers. This extraordinary discovery has forever changed Brian's perspective, leaving him in awe of the mysteries of the past. Staffordshire Secrets A remarkable archaeological discovery has taken place on farmland in Staffordshire, UK, and it's definitely worth looking into. Metal detectorists Mark Hambleton and Joe Kenya came across a collection of ancient gold treasures that have been named the Leakfrith Iron Age Torx. These fascinating finds are believed to be the earliest examples of Iron Age gold ever found in Britain. The Torx consist of three neck Torx and one bracelet, and they could date back as far as 400 BC, making them a significant international find. Experts are thrilled with this discovery, which adds to Staffordshire's reputation as a treasure trove of historical artifacts. Including the famous Staffordshire hoard of Anglo-Saxon gold, the Torx were likely worn by wealthy and influential women, possibly those who had married into the local community from continental Europe, such as Germany or France, unraveling the story of how these objects ended up buried in a Staffordshire field will provide valuable insights into life during the Iron Age in Britain. Archaeologists from Stoke and Trent City Council led the investigations on the farmland in the Staffordshire moorlands. The find is considered complete, with no evidence of other pieces on the site. Stoke-on-Trent City Council, known for its arts, history, and culture, is proud to be entrusted with the archaeological heritage of the entire county. They hope that the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery will become the custodian of this important international discovery, further enhancing the region's pride and wonder. This extraordinary find has captivated experts and the local community, shedding light on the ancient past and reigniting excitement about the area's rich historical and cultural heritage. Cow's Stomach Surgery On this particular bustling farm, a special cow was feeling under the weather. According to her caretaker's journal, the bovine was both bloated and lost her appetite, causing concern among the farm's full crew. It took a week of observation, but eventually the outcome was clear. It was time for surgery. Of course, cows are a bit different from us anatomically, 
so it takes a real expert to handle a situation like this. As the cow's first stomach was surgically cut into, a surprising puff of steam escaped. It took the whole crew to keep the body sealed from contamination while still digging in to see what the real problem was. But with a deft hand, the herdsmen reached back into the cow's stomach and extracted a few small pebbles. But unfortunately, cows have four stomachs, so he located the entrance to the second, smaller stomach and skillfully retrieved a handful of larger stones. On his second attempt, he retrieved two small nails, and on the third, two more nails. What was up with this cow's appetite? Finally, he removed a slightly embedded nail that seemed to be the root of the poor animal's troubles. Capitalizing on the open stomach, the herdsman sprinkled a handful of powdered electrolytes to rebalance the pH level. That's a true animal lover in action. He also tossed in four antacid pills, similar to Pepto-Bismol before skillfully sewing up the stomach. It was a bit like loading items into a front-loading washing machine. By the time the cow's surgery was complete, she was already back to chewing her cud, a promising sign of her recovery. A lost tomb. In a surprising turn of events, a farmer in Crete stumbled upon a more unusual treasure while attempting to park his car. As luck would have it, the ground beneath his wheels gave way revealing an ancient tomb hidden within his olive grove. Inside the tomb, the farmer discovered the resting place of two mysterious Minoan Bronze Age men alongside a collection of beautifully painted ceramics, hinting at the family's wealth during that time. The tomb, sealed behind a sturdy stone wall, is estimated to be a staggering 3,400 years old, dating back to 1400 to 1200 BC. It seems that a broken irrigation tube had unwittingly softened the soil, leading to this accidental excavation. The chamber was cleverly divided into three parts and housed two larnakes, a type of embossed clay coffin. These coffins are often adorned with intricate designs depicting everything from abstract patterns to religious and hunting scenes. Accompanying the men on their eternal journey were a bowl and an impressive collection of 14 exquisitely decorated Greek ritual jars. However, experts note that the tomb does not possess the iconic doomed thalos structure typically associated with the wealthiest Minoans. Excavations at the site have been carried out by the local heritage ministry, and the discovery has caused quite a stir in the nearby village. This mountainous region is not typically associated with Minoan settlements, making the find all the more intriguing. The local deputy mayor expressed immense joy at this incredible archaeological discovery. He believes that it will further enrich their culture and history while also silencing any doubters who question the presence of Minoans in the area. Well, this unexpected tomb has certainly proven them wrong. Five-Legged Lamb a lamb unlike any other has graced the fields of Northumberland, capturing the hearts of everyone who lays eyes on her. This little woolly wonder is a five-legged lamb, making her a true sensation in the animal kingdom. The team at White House Farm, located near the charming town of Morpeth, couldn't believe their eyes when they saw this unique addition to their flock. But this five-legged wonder not only has an extra limb, it also has three toes instead of the usual two. Heather Hoggerty, one of the farm's owners, couldn't contain her excitement and took to Facebook to introduce their special girl to the world. She confidently declared that this miraculous birth is a true rarity, a one in a million event. She also claimed that while it may seem incredibly unusual, animals with additional needs are actually more common than we think. Just like us humans, they have their own unique quirks and requirements, it's just that we may not always have the chance to witness them up close and personal. What's more, this five-legged marvel of nature was born as part of a set of triplets, adding another layer of astonishment to her already remarkable story. And guess what? She made her grand entrance on the date 2-22-22. This lamb sure knows how to make a dramatic debut and leave a lasting impression. Fortunately, Heather and her team are fully committed to ensuring the well-being of their extraordinary lamb. They'll closely monitor her progress and consult with a trusted veterinarian to ensure that her extra limb doesn't cause any issues. A Fishy Fossil 
Here's a mega discovery straight out of the Jurassic era. In a small village near Stroud, Gloucester, a fearsome fossil fish has been unearthed and it's starting to make a splash. Meet Pachycormus, a tuna-like predator that's giving us major I'm about to attack vibes with its menacing teeth and piercing eyes. This remarkable find is a result of the relentless fossil hunting efforts of Neville and Sally Hollingworth. Usually, fossils are squashed flat over time, but this specimen surprised everyone by retaining its three-dimensional form. The skull of this thing emerged uncrushed, mouth agape, as if it were lunging out of the rock itself. The Hollingworths stumbled upon this impressive fish head hidden in a grassy bank behind a cowshed. Who would have thought that beneath the hooves of English Longhorn cattle lay a treasure trove of fossils? Thanks to the generosity of landowner Adam Knight, who granted their permission, a team from the University of Manchester joined forces with the Hollingworths to uncover the secrets of the bank. Alongside this find, they discovered additional fish, squid, and even the bones of two ichthyosaurs, those marine reptiles that look like supersized dolphins. And despite being a mostly marine setting, the clay layer also held the fossilized remains of wood and insects, hinting that land wasn't too far away. The discovery has the scientific community buzzing with excitement. Now, the Court Farm site presents an incredible opportunity for modern research with fresh material. If you can score some tickets to their exhibit, you should be ready to feast your eyes on the remnants of a long-lost world where ancient fish ruled the seas and mysteries await around every corner. It's a Jurassic adventure you won't want to miss. Sneaky Snake Xanadan Embong, a dedicated farmer in Malaysia, was going about his usual routine of feeding his cow. As he approached the cow pen, he came face to face with a colossal surprise no one could be prepared for. It was a massive 16-foot python hanging above, poised to strike. The sight left the 24-year-old farmer in utter shock, but he wasted no time springing into action to protect his beloved bovines. He knew that a snake of that size could easily swallow one of his cows whole, and that would be a major loss. I've had pythons eat chickens before, but none of them was as big as this snake, he shared. Now, you might be wondering, could a python really swallow a whole cow? Well, technically it's possible. In 2021, a similarly sized Burmese python managed to swallow a large cow only to meet an unfortunate end when its stomach couldn't handle the massive meal. But adult cows are a bit beyond the realm of possibility for a python looking to survive its meal. But still, this particular python was so enormous that the lone farmer couldn't handle it by himself. This heavyweight wriggler measured 16 feet and tipped the scales at a whopping 220 pounds. Luckily, Mbong had a solution. He called his trusty friend for backup. Together, the farmer and his three pals braved the challenge and hoisted the colossal constrictor away from the cows. And so, this epic snake-catching adventure came to an end with a farmer's bravery and teamwork saving the day. Multi-millions in the mud A Colombian farmer, Jose Mariana Cartelos, was just minding his own business when suddenly he stumbled upon a life-changing $600 million buried on his farm. Now, before you start dreaming of a lavish lifestyle filled with yachts and diamond-encrusted everything, let's dive into the strange backstory. We're talking about none other than the legendary Pablo Escobar, the notorious Colombian drug lord known as the King of Cocaine. As it's been told, Escobar had a serious case of money overload he had over 800 luxury mansions scattered all across Colombia, owned football teams, and even gave away billions of dollars to help build hospitals, schools, and work programs. But he still had cash to burn, so instead he did the next best thing. He buried it all over the country. And when Escobar eventually met his demise, the location of many of these hidden money pits faded away with him. It's estimated that there are still around a hundred of these secret stashes still waiting to be discovered, each containing a mind-blowing sum from $500 million to possibly a billion dollars. And that's where our friend Jose entered the fray. He was simply digging an irrigation trench when he struck gold, and by gold we mean $600 million in cold hard cash. 
The stellar find has ignited a modern-day gold rush as treasure hunters flock to the Colombian countryside, armed with fancy equipment, searching for more of Escobar's hidden money pit. Gold in the ground. In a humble field in Eduadala, Mr. Manacunda was just going about his business, digging a bore pipeline in his field, when suddenly he unearthed an earthen pot that held some gold coin, 17 shiny gold coins to be precise. He literally struck gold in his own backyard. But being a responsible citizen, he wasted no time in alerting the authority. The local government official was quick to respond and rushed to the scene for an investigation. They then found yet another gold coin in the same field. The authorities made sure to seize the gold coins and clay pot in which they were nestled in just in case. Officially, these precious treasures will be handed over to the district collector and safely deposited in the treasury. But who knows, maybe the next time you're digging in your garden, you'll stumble upon an unexpected surprise too. Keep those shovels handy and your eyes peeled. An unexpected fortune may just be a few inches below the soil. Cave from the Ice Age In the heart of southeastern Poland, a farmer named Adam Bryzik came upon an incredible find on his land. It all started innocently enough with a small hole in the ground that caught Adam's attention. As he ventured further, he discovered that the hole had grown and eventually collapsed, unveiling an underground cave, naturally formed over thousands of years during the Ice Age. Eager to report his find to the world, Adam promptly reported his astonishing encounter to Dominic Sozik, the guardian of monuments in the county. Without delay, a team of archaeologists came from the region's capital. The researchers determined that the cave was a solutional cave formed gradually over time as groundwater dissolved the bedrock. The cave dates back to the Pleistocene epoch, spanning millions of years, particularly during the Nida or sand glaciations. Back then, the area was covered by a thick layer of snow due to a massive Scandinavian ice sheet. And although the cave formed naturally, it appears that humans visited the cave to extract stone for construction purposes. Traces of their craftsmanship based on the mechanical imprints of tools were scattered across the cave's walls. But don't get too attached. The exact location of the cave remains undisclosed due to certain risks it poses. Its small size, low ceilings, and treacherous entrance make it unsuitable for casual visitors. But maybe one day, we'll all get to see what's inside. Bronze Age Treasures This time, a farmer from Poland unearthed a collection of rare artifacts that had laid hidden for centuries. The Lubusz Department of Historic Preservation was ecstatic, describing the finds as extremely rare and of significant historical value. Among the treasures were three scepters, three bronze daggers, a tiny axe, a chisel, and a hatchet. These remarkable artifacts are believed to belong to the Unetis culture, dating back to sometime between 2300 and 1600 BC, the peak of Bronze Age bling. It's not every day that you come across multiple scepters and daggers, making this find even more precious for its national heritage. This isn't the first time the Lubusz province has revealed its secrets. Not too long ago, a bronze bracelet was stumbled upon during a family adventure, not to mention the incredible discovery of a trove of 220 bronze items, including metal ornaments and pieces of a harness. It's like a real-life archaeological treasure hunt hiding out in your own backyard. It's a tough life out there for farmers, but it's even tougher when you don't know what you'll find next. Who would have guessed that so many things are buried where crops are supposed to grow? But so long as they don't interfere with a hard day's work, we're happy to keep checking in and seeing what amazing things are still left to find. 